I will now form a government. A government that can provide certainty and lead Britain forward at this critical time for our country. This government will guide the country through the crucial Brexit talks that begin in just 10 days and deliver on the will of the British people by taking the United Kingdom out of the European Union. The government I lead will put fairness and opportunity at the heart of everything we do. her campaign, it was her decision to call the election, it was her name out there and she was saying she was doing it to bring about strong and stable government. Well, this morning it doesn't look like a strong government, it doesn't look like a stable government, it doesn't look like a government that has any programme whatsoever. We're offering to put forward the programme on which we fought the election. We have done no deals and no pacts with anybody and everyone can see the huge increase in our support because of the way we conducted the election and the comprehensive nature of the programme we put forward. We're ready to serve the people who have given their trust to us. I am standing down today as the leader of UKIP with immediate effect. This will allow the party to have a new leader in place by the conference in September. And at the annual conference in Torquay, the new rebranded UKIP must be launched and a new era must begin with a new leader. A year of calm to rebrand and rebuild the party structures so we were ready for the electoral battles ahead. Of course, her gamble, you know, to come out stronger and more stable as a government to enter negotiations with the European Union, that gamble has backfired on her and she comes out weaker. I think the, the election outcome suggests that uh, the scenario for a hard Brexit is now being softened uh, in, in a sense because uh, coalition compromises will have to be made on the UK side and will be less hard in uh, the positioning of course vis-a-vis -vis the European Union. That in itself would be in the interest I think ultimately of both parties to, to the negotiation.